Today, we will be discussing and demonstrating how blockchain technologies can improve land registries. Blockchain can build trust and transparency for citizens, while making the entire system more efficient. Exonum, Bitfury's private blockchain framework, was the first blockchain framework used in production on a land registry. It provides security and verification through cryptographic proofs. It can handle up to a billion transactions a day, and its anchoring capability to back up the system state to the Bitcoin public blockchain network provides users with the benefits of both private and public blockchain networks. In many countries, land registries are not trusted or transparent, if they exist at all. In 2017, the World Bank released a study stating that more than 70% of the global population lacks the legal claim to their land and a third of countries do not digitally track property ownership. These studies have resulted in increased uncertainty and friction in the marketplace. That can often put a strain on governmental resources, especially in judicial systems. For example, in India, it is estimated that two-thirds of legal disputes are related to land claims. But how does Exonum provide trust and transparency for property ownership? First, through data integrity. Property records are digitally signed or hashed and stored onto the Exonum blockchain. The data is stored on a secure, private, distributed ledger. That ledger is then further secured on the public Bitcoin blockchain through anchoring, providing an immutable publicly backed historical log of the system. Auditability is built into Exonum enabling third parties such as governments or non-profit organizations to view the blockchain and audit the data. These audit nodes can serve as a second source of truth and trust for citizens. Citizens can also use a light version of Exonum to view the blockchain to validate their records. This can be customized and provided to citizens as a mobile or web application. Exonum was used in the first blockchain deployment of a national land registry system in the Republic of Georgia. Launched in April 2016, this was the first successful deployment of any governmental service on a blockchain. Before the implementation of Exonum, property registration took one to three days, with the execution of a property transfer taking up to 10 days. The system was built originally on traditional IT infrastructure providing less protection against internal bad actors or hackers manipulating or deleting records. After Exonum was deployed, property registration in the Republic of Georgia could now be completed in seconds, and citizens could transfer their property directly from a web application. As a result, operational costs were reduced by 90%. Citizens also received a digital certificate along with their traditional paper record to show that their property had been secured on the blockchain. Let's take a look at how Exonum can be used for land titling applications. For this demonstration, the Exonum team has created an emulated land registry system. In this demonstration, we'll take on the persona of Terracotta Wolf to locate, purchase, and transfer property within the city of Amsterdam. Within the upper left-hand corner of the screen, we see a count of all properties, properties available for sale, and my current inventory of properties. Properties can be selected from the list below or directly from the map. We are going to purchase a house within the neighborhood of De Wallen, preferably on the water. This property looks perfect. When I click on the parcel, relevant details appear on the screen and we see no one currently owns the property. So we go to purchase. You'll notice both the object or property and purchaser account can be viewed on the blockchain. When we select this action, a transaction signed by participants of the sale is timestamped, validated, and shared with all the nodes within the Exonum network. Once completed, a receipt of the transaction appears with option to view the transaction via the built-in blockchain explorer. Here we can see the recorded time along with details of the sale. You can also see the digital signature associated with the property and the status of the record. In this case, we can see that the transaction has been committed to the blockchain. Because it's a private blockchain, access is controlled and restricted per the policy of the owner of the network. 
in this case, the Land Register Department of our virtual city. Now that we have the property, let's transfer it to another individual within the system. When we select Transfer, we can see a list of individuals to transfer to. Here's one, Denim Sparrow. As you can see, the same process is used to transfer the property, with the transaction being uploaded or committed to the blockchain and details of the transaction available for verification. While this is a simplified demonstration, the core principles demonstrated are leveraged in real-world environments, and with cryptographic proofs, transactions can be performed via smart contracts or applications that automate one to many steps of the real estate transaction based on local rules and regulations. To explore this demonstration system and learn more about Exonum, please go to exonum.com.